Today I want to speak about the film Lords of Chaos that came out uh, in uh, 2018, before two, three years from now. And uh, I remember that many, many, many people, especially black metallers, they came out against this film. So, first of all, I have to say that also there is a book by the same title, Lords of Chaos, uh, The Bloody Rise of the Satanic Metal Underground. And I have to say, write the book also with the same title, speaks also about um, black metal, the Norwegian black metal, and about Mayhem. But the film and the book, they're different between them. They're two different things, first of all. Some words about the book. Uh, the book is a very nice book, in my point of view. Uh, tries to, to to bring to someone that maybe that he does not know black metal the whole ideology, let's say ideology uh, behind black metal, the misanthropy, the satanism, and also the neo-Nazism and fascism. Unfortunately, that also inside black metal in some. Uh, styles of black metal but let's 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 be real one of the uh, one of the authors of the book Michael uh, Moynihan if I read uh, his name uh, uh, well correct he was a right an extreme right winger very close to neo-nazi uh, ideology and in my point of view he Especially, he put a little bit more attention to the Nazism inside black metal. For example, uh, here Varg is the big uh, star, and I maybe I can understand this, but uh, he gave to him uh, to speak a little bit of even more about Nazism and heathenism. And also uh, Hendrik Mobus. Hendrik Mobus, uh, the neo-Nazi. Uh, Murderer from uh, from uh, the NSBM, the neo-Nazi black metal band, uh, absolute from Germany. But let's say, okay, Hendrik Mobus, he's not a personality inside black metal. So why he put a little bit, so much focus to Morbus uh, and uh, to Varg? Okay, someone has to know that uh, uh, here. Maybe some uh, of the ideology of the book is to bring black metalers that maybe they will read to the book closer to the neo-Nazism and the neo-Nazi ideas. Maybe. And now let's speak about the about the film. Many people uh, they said uh, they were against the film because uh, they said the film is not exactly the truth. But let's be real. Nobody from us. Uh, does know the truth about Mayhem and about these years exactly. The film starts and it says that it's, it's a, a, the film has also uh, lies and also uh, truths. It's not the absolute truth. One thing. Secondly, this is a film. This is a not documentary. This is a Hollywood film. Yes. Not a documentary, and if you speak, uh, uh, if someone if someone wants to know, uh, let's say something uh, uh, that is more close to the truth, I, I I also suggest to see the documentary film until the light take us of 2008. But here we speak about a Hollywood film. So some people will say, but here we see only the story of Mayhem, especially. And a little bit the whole story of host of Emperor, but we don't see Dark Throne, Immortal, Satyricon, Wolver, and, and the other bands. Okay, and this is a Hollywood film. Other people they will be uh, they are crazy because uh, the film is uh, in is in favor of Evronimus, and the bad guy is only Varg. This is not truth. If someone see uh, watch the film. Without prejudices, he will see that also Evronimus is the is a problematic guy. He's a problematic guy that uh, uh, the film shows shows to us that uh, he brought dead to the, to commit suicide, even though everybody knew that 
that sometime he will commit suicide. Uh, also, he brought Varg in the place that um, in, in the place that Varg came what he what he became became what he became. One thing. Secondly, maybe maybe the last of the in in, in the film uh, at last Evronimus uh, oyster uh, he became a good uh, a good guy a little bit before his death. Okay, maybe we don't know that exactly. But also, let's be let's be real. He was murdered by Vark, and not because Vark he wanted. A, a, this is not exactly that he a, he defended himself. Someone that come to come to to comes to your house uh, in the middle of the night, and uh, he starts uh, to stab you uh, 30, uh, 34 plus times uh, in in the back. This is not exactly self defense. Okay. Also, Valk was crazy because uh, uh, they put uh, a, a Jewish uh, actor by the name Cohen to play him uh, to play to play uh, the role of Valk. I liked it very much. So now, and another thing we have, that we have to remember: the director of the film, uh, Jonas Ackerlund, he's not a personality; he's he's outsider. He's not an outsider. He was inside the band of Bathory. So he knows about black metal. And another thing, uh, people they say, but Mayhem, they were against the film. Okay, they were against the film, but uh, let's remember that uh, uh, the actor that played Attila, even for some seconds, is the, the, the son of Attila himself. And Attila knew it. So let's say Mayhem, they knew about the film. Okay, and we have to remember, this is only a film, a Hollywood film, this is not the truth, exactly as a film, it was very good. And yes, the guys from Eichheim, the guys of the second wave of black metal, of Norwegian black metal, may, they were and they are very good musicians, and we like their music, about, about their, uh, about but about their personalities? No, they, they were not exactly, uh, let's say, um, the, the, the best guys in the world. Of course, they had many, many problems and, and psychological problems. So, this is it. From Israel, from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.